Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Zruti and this is going to be first vlog on my channel. So the reason behind this vlog being that I'll be attending an event at the Indo Italian Chamber of Commerce tomorrow. Uh, it is an authentic Italian table event. It's like more food based event. So I thought I can take you guys along to see what all is there over there. Uh, yeah, so this is something very interesting. So this is like an opportunity given to us by our university. There are like some students from my class attending it with me too. So yeah, I have that event at 2.30 tomorrow. So I'll get ready. Mostly we'll be wearing formal wear like that is the dress code given to us by our college. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Hi, uh, right now I'm getting ready to like head out to the Italian Chamber of Commerce. Let's go. So this is the outfit. I'll be wearing boots this day also. This is the bag that I'm carrying. That's why I use the word hunt because it's a very very interesting way as to how they find truffles and how they are able to source truffles. So there are very specific conditions required for this fungus to be able to gain that relationship with that tree. And it's something that takes uh, up to 10 years to form, you know, in terms of that relationship. So there is a, the, 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 within the roots specifically, uh, there, is this, there is this fungus network called mycelium which starts to form and then over time there are uh, specific nodules which form which, uh, which have the, a little clump like shape and texture which is what we can harvest and uh, it's, it's something that even though we can smell when it's on our table because it's growing underground the human nose just isn't trained and just isn't able to uh, find these particular uh, fungi so, in the past what they did was that they found pigs that were able, because pigs have a fantastic sense of smell, pigs that were able to find and, uh, you know, dig out the truffles and then those were the ones that were being sold. But we have a problem if we use pigs. What yeah. happens? Well, the big problem with pigs is that pigs love truffles, so they used to eat whatever they used to dig out. It's difficult to train a, a pig That's and right. to deny a truffle to a pig. It's difficult to deny for us. So, so then, you know, man turned to his best friend, uh, the other animal that is known for a fantastic sense of smell. And um, they, we started training dogs, uh, very, very specific uh, dogs, uh, varieties and, uh, you know, breeds that were, were bred over generations. 
uh, to to be able to gain that sense of smell and to be able to differentiate because you know hunting dogs they can very easily understand the smell different types of cheese in Italy. So here we have re really, really a manifesto of the uh, Italian farmer's sour fur knowledge. Okay, how is possible with these three, co three things in combination, we're gonna make 1,300 different uh, cheeses. So it's a scenario quite unique in the world. There's also someone else like the French, but let's stay focused on Italy, you know? Uh, okay, so today, since we're talking about cheese, we start with uh, a cheese, not cheese. <laughs> Actually, it's classified by the Ministry of uh, uh, Agriculture, Italian uh, Ministry of Agriculture, of dairy products, not literally cheese. It's mascarpone, no? Everybody knows mascarpone because of tiramisu, okay? You would like a tiramisu for your birthday yeah, or yes. uh, even that? So which one? You have to choose kind of candy. Yeah. Okay. So, why I say cheese and not cheese? Because we uh, are missing one of the three ingredients in this case. As I said, what, which are the three ingredients for uh, cheese? Milk, salt, then it. Vinegar. No, you make paneer with them. Vinegar. Rene. Rene. Good, it's your student. So, Rene, you know what is Rene, no? It's an animal liquid, not for the stomach of a cow, baby, baby, yeah, baby, not uh, baby cow, calf, let's say, calf, baby goat, uh, lamb, baby lamb, and, uh, and sheep. So these three, maybe, okay? Even buffalo, you can use So here we are missing that, the remnant, okay? This is why it's one of the few cheeses that at least we have in Italy that is fully uh, vegetarian. You can say that it's vegetarian. Fresh, very fresh. So we always create the parmesan on the pasta, parmigiano or grana, okay? Very thin. So now you can taste. You have your fork here. Yeah. And uh, good luck. It's a uh, non veg one. Non veg one. It's uh, a tomato sauce plus minced meat. Kima, no? You know, kima. With a typical of this
this is fine. This is fine. That was fine. Before I get bored of wearing those every day, so yeah, I think this might be enough. Thank you. 